Hi everybody and welcome back to Martin Goldfish for the much anticipated update on the green pond. So a few changes to the channel will be coming soon. We're doing a lot more of these sorts of videos. You guys have loved it and uh, because of that we'll, uh, we'll make some more. So we're changing the name of the channel now to Mountain Aquatics. That shows what we do a bit more. Obviously we're a business now. We do um, tank and uh, pond maintenance, North Wales area going over to England. But yeah, let's see. Uh, let's have a look at the pond and see how it's looking now and then there's a few jobs that we're going to be doing while we're here, all right? So here we are, the moment you've all waited for. These are the fish, as they're looking now in the pond, much healthier, much, much happier and a lot more colourful. We wouldn't keep you waiting long. You'll see these fish a bit later on in the video, but I thought we'll just show you a quick clip of them now and you can see just how well they're doing. So one thing that was mentioned on the video of this pond, you'll see the water's still a little bit green, we'll get to that, um, was the algae on the sides. Uh, why didn't we go a bit harder with the pressure washer and get rid of the algae on the sides? And there was a few reasons for that. One of the main reasons is this pond, being a, a brick-built pond, has got a seal all the way around it. So the inside of the pond's a bit different to this and it's got a seal on the inside. Now, if we were to pressure wash that seal, this pond would leak and it wouldn't be a pond anymore. It would just be a wall in a square. Um, so we had to be very, very careful and sort of treat it accordingly to what we knew. We, we didn't know how many years that seal had been on there and how, how tough it was. If it, if it was a fresh seal and I just installed it, you'd scrub it a lot more. But with us not knowing how it was, we had to take our time. So we're coming back today and we're gonna do a little bit more. In fact, the algae on the side seems to be pretty good. It's more just the water now. So if you look, on the surface of the water here, there's all these pine needles from these trees around the pond, yeah? So we're putting a skimmer on. The skimmer will get rid of all this stuff. It takes it from the surface of the water. And over time, those things on top of the water, they're gonna fall down, go, go into the water column, they're gonna degrade, and that's gonna create the right conditions for the algae to grow, which is why it was so green before. So the first thing we're gonna add to the pond is the swim skim by a ways. This is the swim skim 50. You can get a swim skim 25. We've gone for the swim skim 50 because it does a 50 meter squared surface area. So this pond is five meters by 10 meters. So it's the perfect size. And that will clear all the debris off the water. As we said, that'll stop in time the algal bloom that was here. Okay, brand new swim skim. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Usual instructions. We're not going to bother with them today. We know what we're doing. If this is your first time fitting anything like that, it might be worth having a look. So these are your pegs where you stick it to the side so we can wander around the pond. And you've got your main unit. And then on the side of this, you've got these, which is what makes it float. So this will sit on top of the water. Let's put this together and then we'll, we'll get back to you when it goes in the water. So the floats on the swim skim, they actually go in. They don't slide up, they look like they do. And they just click in like that. You've got three of them. Once you've done that, you can think about putting it in the water because then it'll float. So once it's all together, Get the swim skim, hold on to it while you place it in the water. Let it fill up. And it should just settle at the right level. Get your basket. Your basket will go in. Then once we turn this on, we'll show you how much that'll take in. So, time to get your waders on. Put all this stuff on top of the water so you see it all. All of these pine needles and stuff off the trees that are surrounding the pond. And that's what this swim skin will take. So if let's go over. I'm in the uh, I'm in the water now with the fish. So if we head over to the swim skim. You'll see. When this is turned on, we're still sorting the electrics now. This flap will go and suck 
anything off the surface of the water, collect it in this tree, and then you lift the tree. It's a really cool bit of kit. It saves having a, you know, taking out part of the wall section and putting a skimmer there, which is what you, do, you would do if you were building the pond from scratch. So there you go, you can now see it up and running. It's pulling in all the debris from the surface of the water. I mean, quite luckily there, it's pulled in some fish food from the surface so we can see it working quite well. So one of the reasons why this pond is now, you see it's gone a little bit green. It's still a much, much cleaner and healthier pond than it was. Uh, while we've been waiting for the part, we've only had one of the filters running. We've had to wait for a new quartz tube for the UV on this one. So Ryan's gonna fit the new UV and then we can have two pumps up and running, running twice the filtration, twice the UV, and that'll get this pond crystal clear over time. You can clean the pond all you want and spend time scrubbing the sides and stuff, but unless you fix the problem and the issue that's creating the algae, then you're gonna keep doing that forever. What we want is a perfectly balanced pond that pretty much will clean itself over time. One thing the customer was very keen on having in this pond was some lilies. And you guys have mentioned them a lot of times. Where are the lilies? So we didn't want to put them in the pond straight away until we knew that we were ready and the pond was ready. Um, we sort of did everything else. This is a bit of a finishing touch. So the lilies that we've got, we've got three different types of lily here. And they're all good up to a depth of about 100 centimeters. Between 40 and 100 centimeters should be fine. Let's show you what we've got. There's a little bit on the side. This one's a much larger one already. These are straight from the supplier. These, we've had these shipped to us and they come not really dry, they're kept wet, there's a uh, newspaper in the bottom. Obviously you wouldn't leave them like this for too long. But for a couple of days, it should be fine. The quicker you can get them in your water, the better. So these are the type we've got. We've got Nymphia Colorado, which is a lovely light pink. Nymphia alba, which is a white, sort of the more common type that you see everywhere. Now this one's my favourite, very special, and I'm glad it's the biggest one of the three. This will need repotting soon, actually. Nymphia attraction. Look at the colour that that's going to be. That really deep, deep pink. So we'll get these potted as they are now in these one litre pots, but next year we'll come back and we'll change these to, to a three litre. Let's put these in the pot and let's spread them out. I think first one we should put in is the nymphia attraction when you put in when you're putting in a lily plant in your pond you need to put it in very gently when you first put it in the water's going to rush and disturb all that soil your water might get a little bit cloudy as you can see there's a bit of scum coming off the top there but that's fine and what we're doing with these plants is we're starting them off on here now over time, when these get quite large, we'll put them on the, on the base of the pond, right at the bottom. For now on these plinths is perfect, but as they're growing, you need them. They need to get full sunlight. They need a lot of sunlight, the lilies. Now these will create, let's get these opened up here. These will create a bit of shade, uh, for the pond as well which again as this is in full sun over time you know it could get algae again like it was and we don't want that we're trying to avoid that here's the second one going in the colorado not as well grown as the other one which is a shame but these will soon come back nice and slow lower it in there you go that one's placed there and the final one, and obviously this pond's got four corners, it's got the end bit here. Um, but the final one we're gonna place in this corner here. Reason being is they don't like a lot of flow. The last one we'll put in is the Alba. 
see if I can do this now. I'm gonna have to hang over the edge because this is a bit deeper. If not, I'll have to get my waders on. Now we don't want to put anything in that corner over there because that's where the outlet is for these two powerful filters and that will knock it about a bit. So let's see if I can get this in. There she is, I had to hang over the side. So these three corners will, they may not bloom this year. Your lilies tend not to bloom on the first year when you put them in and they're quite young. This year they'll do a lot of growing, they'll soak up a lot of sun and next year they should flower with those beautiful flowers that you've seen on those pictures. Now let's compare this to last time and let's have a look under the water. What are you doing there, Ryan? So what we're doing is the feed going into the Bytron 25. We've only got one pump running through the system. So what we're doing is we're blanking off this other side here now to ensure that when we've got water running through from the pump we've installed, um, there's no leaks coming out of the UV, therefore resulting in a drop in water level. So to make things easier, because there was only one double socket here, we couldn't have run all the electrics for the two pumps and the two UVs, is we've added this Blagdon switch box that has five, two filters, two UVs, and the skimmer. Perfect job. So that's the end of our journey with this pond for now. We may come back and revisit at some point if there's any work that the customer wants us to do. And as you can see, give it a couple of days all the stuff off the surface, all the crap and all the pine needles and things, they'll be gone with the skimmer that we fitted. Which is the, uh, that's the OA Swim Skim 50. We've got two pumps up and running, two UVs. This water's gonna be crystal clear. Those lilies will grow out over the next few weeks. They might not flower this year, but they'll flower next year, certainly. And yeah. Any work like this you guys want, contact Mountain Aquatics and we'll come and sort out your pond. See you the next one. So this is the part now that quite a lot of you subscribers have asked for in the comment section of the last video. You wanted to see these fish being fed. Here goes in the food. Now let's sit back and relax and watch these fish for a minute. <laughs> 